Okay, somebody kicked your door in. I'm gonna show you how I replace a broken door jam. Take this piece of wood here, scribe the backside, skipping the broken area. <coughs> Did remove the weather stripping first to get the appropriate width. Rip that down, put the cut side on the side you won't see. Now I simply mark the top and bottom of this board. I don't know the exact length. It's just a piece of nice trim I had. And we'll go ahead and plunge cut that with the oscillating tool here. And then you wanna set your saw to the depth of the jam. You don't wanna to go too deep. And carefully make your plunge cut and just follow that um, all the way up and all the way down. <laughs> Had some help with the cameraman today, so that was helpful. Doing this while holding the phone would have been pretty tough. So if you played your cards right or marked your lines right, out with the old, in with the new. So we got a pretty good fit here. Now the center was shimmed, so we're gonna pre-jill this. And go ahead and set this in place with a nice three inch screw. And then once you got that set, gonna shim it out. Hey, get back here, get that, there we go. Shim it out so it's a nice good match. That'll make it easier for you later. A couple shims. Nice, zip these off with that tool again. Love that thing, but it sure is noisy. <clears throat> so I filled those holes and seams with some putty. I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. This first way is kind of mark these out and then transfer them, obviously around the band there to the front. I'm gonna mark the center here, a two and an eighth. So we went with one and a sixteenth ish. Here's an easier way. Get yourself a sharpie or crayon or whatever. Load it up there in the center. Then go ahead and uh, give it a couple open and close, maybe a little shimmy shake. Shake, shake, shake. There we go. And as you can see, my dot pretty much matches up right with my cross mark where I was going to drill anyways. So I got the one inch Forstner bit here. Go ahead and go all the way through for the deadbolt and about halfway for the door knob. And then I simply try traced my strike plate with the pencil and then with the razor. And now the tedious part is the hammer and chisel. So I know you could probably get a jig and a router and do it up, but uh, I didn't have that. And not all of us do. You can see my son there, hard at work. Oh, he's over it. So simply take your time here, little by little, no need to rush. Um, going back and forth to tune up the edges with the razor and just take it out piece by piece. This is sped up about four times, I believe, so probably took a good 15 minutes just for this one. I go ahead and skip the deadbolt one. Figured you didn't need to see both, but uh, same process. Trace it, razor it, chisel it, <coughs> check it, and then, um, then move on already. Here we go, come on. There we go, there they are. So yeah putties on there gonna sand it need a piece of casing check it and that's about it so hopefully that helps hopefully no one kicks your door in again because uh it's a lot of work <laughs>